couple of days ago, I made a, a video, and it was you know how to make a flat panel using just stuff that you can buy online. And in the comment, I said I should have put you know a black backing. And then my wife mentioned, well, if you're going to do the, the back, you might as well make a circle for the front. So I'm really happy how this turned out. And I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to explain to you what I did because it's already all together. All right. All right. So you, you guys remember there was two white pieces of plastic here. So I got some of this stuff from Michael's. It's just like foam, right? And I put that as the first, as the, as the first layer to cover the back so the light doesn't come back up. But not only that. When I was doing flashes during the day, late in the afternoon or early in the morning, I was finding out that somehow the light, the sunlight was going through the panel, somehow through the electroluminescent uh, panel and then the, the, the plexiglass in the bottom. So I was getting some weird gradients. So to, to not take a chance, I made one of these the right size and I put it down first. Then, as I mentioned, excuse me, <clears throat> I got... Studio Dollarama Buck 50 foam. So I made one of these, make sure it was the right size. I covered the whole thing. Just foam. As you see it here. And then uh, every time I put this on top, you, I usually just let it sit like this, bounce around. And you guys probably, if you go back two videos, you'll see that I have clamps. I've got clamps on each corner. It was getting annoying because the bag that this fits in uh, was just big enough and the clamps are you know grabbing on it. But why have clamps? So I figured, okay, I'm going to put a foam, which is super black. You, 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 I don't care how you try, you'll never see through this. Oh, and by the way, since we're here, this, as dirty as it is, uh, makes unbelievable flocking material. So you put that inside your dew cap and the moon or any stray light down the street does not like bouncing off of this. So Michael's, they're pretty expensive, you know, two, three bucks each. So my wife bought like five or six. So in case you ever go out of stock, I have something next year or so. And I also wanted to mount this, the controller where you have um, off, on, and flash. Because basically these are designed for flashing a sign, you know, like open, close. We use it for for uh, making flats. And then I found some uh, Velcro. So I'm really happy with that. So I can put it on, right? Almost, I can almost lift the whole thing. No, I can't. It's dirty. Okay. So and then I can just turn it whichever I want. Now. That I was very happy with. I go, well, this is this is fantastic. This is great. Um, and then I, I was working, and my wife goes, what, we, "Why don't you make a hole for the front? Like not a hole for the front, but you know this stuff here." But yes, for, for to putting it on top of the uh, RC6. And I said, "Well, okay, let's try that." So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to flip it. So I measured the. At first, I was going to measure the entire, not the entire tube, but I used the, the lid, the lid, the lid. But it was too small. Technically, that would have turned out wrong. So she goes, no, you better make it for the outside of the tube because you want it to drop on the tube. Okay. So here's what we got. Turn that side right here. So. Yeah. Start snapping that cable. So a little bit of foam sticking out. So after cutting this circle out, That fits, should fit, better fit, on the C6, RC6. Okay, so that's it. That's the update. Now she's going to pause. We're going to go over to the RC6. I'm just going to just going to drop it on, hopefully. All right. Okay, so TPO, RC6, our brand new, homemade, valued at, uh, I don't know, they're going for three, four hundred dollars. And we've already tested it, it was really, really good. So here's the here was the deal, right? You can put it down on the scope and if you get it right. It is a perfect fit. That's it. That's the video. And now we can plug it in a few minutes. I'm gonna make some flats. And I'm gonna use the wizard. Not that I've never used it. I've used it many, many times. I don't, I don't like it. The wizard's always complaining about too dark, too bright. And now I have control over the light. And I don't want a quarter of a second. I don't want half a second. Because there's some, it has something to do with ZWO's drivers. And 
under a second, I believe it's a hardware image you're taking, at half a second, three quarters of a second. And as soon as you reach one second on the camera, it switches over to software, which would be the ASCOM driver or the native driver. This is according to John Rista and a few other people on Cloudy Nights. So I try to shoot above Unity, like 101, and longer than one second. If I could, I would shoot two seconds. And I can, but one second is fine. And so if I'm shooting one second, I know that all the shots are going to be too bright. But now I have control over dimming my light as much as low as I want. And if I can, I can still eat a t use a t-shirt and put this on top. But the idea was not to do that. Um, so one second, we're going to shoot the ADU between 15,000 to 20,000. I like 18,500. Some people shoot 23. Watched a video last night where a guy was shooting 22,000, but he was shooting at one quarter of a second because the wizard said, oh, I found a good... I found what you're looking for in ADU, the 23,000, but you have to shoot a quarter of a second. I don't like that. A quarter of a second to me is like a bias frame. Like it's like a snapshot. We don't want bias flats. We want the flat to be as long as possible. You might say, well, it doesn't matter because you're going to make dark flats. True. And I'm going to want my dark flats to be one second. Dark, flats, one second, light for flats. So that's it. That's, uh, I mean... To each their own, personal choice. I already got people saying, oh, you know, that's not how you do it. Well, it's not, I mean, it's how I do it, but it probably not how you do it. And you shouldn't follow the way I do it because we have different cameras, different telescope, different light panels. It's a whole different situation. You know what I say? Use what works. Till the next time, thank you for watching.